this sow followed and could not breastfeed her piglet, and here is why. There was no breast milk coming out of her nipples. The piglets were only suckling in dry air. You can notice this by pressing the nipples and also observing the nipples closely after the piglets have suckled. If there's milk, you should see it either around the nipples or on the mouth area of one or two of the piglets. Once it is confirmed that no milk is available for the piglet, you try to put in some measures first by dipping a rag or towel-like cloth in warm to hot water and try massaging the odor of the sow. You can also inject her oxytocin, an emotion-inducing hormone that helps female mammals produce breast milk for their younger ones. But in my case, I couldn't do any of the above simply because the sow had even attacked and killed five of the piglets already. This is how it happened. Three days to following, I was away for a funeral and had my mother attend to her. She reported everything to me as it occurred live via a phone call. According to her, the sow did well because it was her first time and that she even lived gently while the piglets dropped. Only two died before they were born, so we see still born. After which the sow had all the live piglets come to circle while she was still being gentle. My mom therefore concluded that the sow would do no harm to the piglet. But the unthinkable happened in the night around 9 p.m. when something pressed my mom to go and check on the sow and her litter to see how they were doing. It was at this point that she found two piglets lying in blood, very lifeless. She picked and examined them closely. Their own mother caused their death by attacking and biting off parts of the poor piglet. This behavior often occurs when the trauma becomes too much for the sow, just as in humans, where they lose their senses. The remaining piglet scattered out of fear around the corners of the room. She then picked them and kept them in a separate room from their mother till the next morning. Around 5 a.m. the next morning, she called me to rush back home to see how we could give the piglets to their mother safely because for her, she feared the sow would attack them once again if she tried introducing them. I therefore got there on time and did the introduction and it was peaceful and successfully done. It was at this point that I realized the sow had no breast milk for the piglets. I went to a cattle farmer near me to get the milk and before I could return, another set of piglets were already weak and couldn't even take the milk as I tried to push it down their throat. That means I have two out of the seven live piglets left. I therefore decided not to even take them to their mother again but to raise them purely on fresh cow milk. Whether they survive or not, at least I will learn something at the end of the day. Unfortunately, one died leaving me with a single healthy piglet which I then gave iron injection on the fifth day of following. She is doing perfectly fine and feels better. The sad aspect of it was that, you know, living in a rural area without any electricity connections, that means I wouldn't be able to store this cow milk and to keep it fresh all the time for my pigs. So I used to buy it early in the morning every day. But one day I got there and I realized that uh, the headman of the cattle told me he was unable to get the milk from the cattle before they went to the bush to, to feed. So that means I had no choice than to buy an ideal milk, which I then fed it to the piglet that very morning and later got the cow milk the next day. I will keep updating you about this single one left. So if you ask me about the cattle farmers also near me, I will say that they are very useful to pig farmers, especially in my situation at this point. Except that they have also introduced satterflies to my area. Each week, I have to kill at least two satterflies on the farm. I'm talking about the cow milk that I give to the piglet. With that, I do it every two hours. I go to pour some in an empty can where the piglet will drink everything. And then after two hours again, I go to do that. But anytime I'm going to like night time and I want to go off the farm to sleep, that one I make sure I fill the can and then leave it there for the piglet. So the next morning I come back to realize that uh, she has drank everything and I have to top it up there with fresh one the next morning again. So that's what I'm doing. And for you to also know that, know that the uh, piglets, they suckle every two to three hours. So if I'm giving them milk, I should also keep doing the same thing. And for the dead piglets, I had nothing to do with them again, but to bury them, as you're seeing it here. I just took them there and started burying them in the ground. I dug it so deep that uh, no dog in the area would be able to dig them out again. With this, they will rot on decay and then add humus to the soil, which I'll then use to plant my maize if I should have a plant like that. So like I said, I'll keep updating you about how far this single piglet goes without the mother's breast milk, whether she survives or dies. I will let you know on this channel.